because they gave 110% Amen. of themselves to blessing me yes. and to blessing you. Yes. And there's something about young people, they're refreshing. Yes. Amen. They're uplifting. Yes. They're easy to read. They're easy to understand yes. because they're forming the character they will be. Come on. And God knows the end from the beginning. Yes. Yes. That's right. I say, God knows the end from the beginning. Yes. Hallelujah. 500 more people. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Uh, we are thankful tonight that God knows the end from the beginning. How many Bibles are here tonight? Hold them up. Wave them around. Say with me, this is God's Word. This is God's unfailing Word. This is God's Word that will never fail. Heaven and earth will pass away. But His Word will not pass away. Therefore, I praise God. for a few minutes and then I'm going to throw the torch to somebody. Praise the name of the Lord. And when I throw the torch to somebody, you'd better be alive enough to catch it. You'd better be alive enough to do something with it. Because we're going to have church here tonight. I say we're going to have church here tonight. If you know most of the churches in Bradenton will not have church on Sunday night because they believe the people are exhausted. They deserve time out. They should have a break. They need family time and a whole lot of other goulash. So let me tell you this right now. The church is family time. The church is the place where there's life. And I'd rather be in church on Sunday night than anywhere else. Amen. Because I believe the church is where the name of the Lord is. I say it's where the name of the Lord is. It's where life is. It's where positive living is. It's where a chance to come from the dead to the living is. Praise the name of the Lord. Let no one ever have to drag you to a church. Let no one ever have to coerce you to the church. Let no one ever have to demand that you go to the church. But you go there with your heart lifted up and your hands lifted up. And you go there saying, praise the Lord. I'm going to the house of God. I'm going to be with his people. I'm going to be where the church of the living God is. And Isaiah, the 46th chapter, let me get there. I told you to go there. And you're there. And I'll be there in a moment. Uh, the Bible said, and this is what the Lord stirred my spirit on, when the hummingbirds first came up and then the youth group uh, came, the inerrancy of God, the unfailing direction of God. That's why I don't have to be fickle, foolish, or fleeing tonight. That's why I don't have to be afraid of the terror that goeth by day or the pestilence that walketh by night. I don't have to be afraid of the darkness of man. I don't have to be afraid of the fear of man. None of you do. And if you're here tonight in that condition, God deliver you before the night is over. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why I said about the offering box. Everyone that obeys what God said through me tonight to bless that box will be blessed of God before you leave this place. See what God will do with your faith. I believe that God is a giver. Yes. 
I said, I believe God is a giver. Amen. I believe God is a provider. Amen. I believe that God is a caretaker. Amen. I believe that God is a husbandman. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. I believe that God is a mighty God, yes. an everlasting God, yes. a God that has fire shut up yes. in his eternal glory. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. I believe that God knows my beginning yes. and knows my ending yes. and knew me before I was. Yes. and will know me when I'm in my new creation. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, I'm just getting started. Praise our God. Because God brought you here tonight to hear this message. God brought you here to receive this word. God wants you to act like God on this earth. Yes. Look like God, smell like God, yes. walk like God, Amen. talk like God, be like God on this earth yes. because you are His creation. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. of Jesus up. Let's put, declare the name of Jesus here. Everybody shout his name. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. The Bible said in Isaiah the 46th chapter and the 10th verse, the Bible said declaring, uh, well let me get verse 9 because it just ties right in. Remember the former things of old, I, for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me. That sets me a fire up here. I'm, I'm blazing right now. Praise the name of the Lord. I like John Wesley. He said, first I get on fire, and then I begin to blaze, and then I begin to burn. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Smith Wigglesworth said, I get on fire in the morning, yeah. and I stay on fire all day, yeah. and I'm never out of fire. Yeah. Praise the name Praise of our God. God is a great God tonight. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. I don't want anybody to say anything negative about my God. Right. My God is able. Yes. My God is more than able. Yes. My yes. God will accomplish. Yes. My God will do. Yes. My God shall his word. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. My God is great enough tonight yes. to let a cancer yes. drop from your body this very minute. Yes. My God is great enough yes. to touch your eyes yes. and change your eyesight yes. this very minute. Yes. My God is able yes. to touch your body and turn you Oh, yeah. 
heal you, deliver you, move you. about being 97 years of age here today. God added 15 more years to my life or more. And one of the brethren said, Sister Marlo said 20, 97. And one of the brethren spoke to me and said, God. And I believe a man of God when he says God. He said, Brother Marlo, quit thinking about 97, 100. Start thinking about 900 and more. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. If you know we're only limited by our doubt, right. let me say that again. Yeah. You are only limited by your doubt. Yeah. You get rid of your doubt, and the God that saves you, and the God that saves you, and the God that you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. God makes no mistakes. He has everything in order. He has everything in the car. God has everything in life and everything in reason. The rivers are flowing because of him. The birds are singing because of him. The cattle are moving because of him. Praise the name of the Lord. The mountains are there because of him. Hallelujah. The lion roams the jungle because of him. The tiger is a tiger because of him. Everything is in order, in place with God. God never has been confused and never will be confused. He knows the end from your beginning. I'm afraid I'm going to crash land one of you for you. When God has his hand upon you. When God knows the end from the beginning. Why are you afraid of anything? I can't do it. I'm not able. Can't work it out. Stop that saying. Change that mentality. Change those words. Go over your language. Quit repeating, I'm a failure. I messed up. I, I can't, I'm in a trap. I can't get out. I'm, I'm boxed in. I can't get around. Oh, everything about me is, is failing. There's nothing going right. Everything is going bad. Stop that language. Right. <laughs> Because if there is a God, and there is a God, yes. praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Then he said he declared the end from the beginning. Yes. I'm going to show you a contradiction of yourself. If you are a Christian, saved, born again, received the Holy Ghost, been brought out of the skin bones of sin, amen. 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 Rolling Stone sang a song a few years ago, can't find no satisfaction. <laughs> remember the Rolling Stones? How many remember the Rolling Stones? Can't find no satisfaction. Poor Rolling Stones, they roll right on out. I don't even know if they're in there. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But brother, I found satisfaction. I found what Presley couldn't find. I found what the entertainers couldn't find. I found Jesus. I found his power. I found his reality. I found his mood. I found the Holy Ghost. I touched the hymn. Suicide recently. 
How many athletes have committed suicide recently? There is no peace, says my God. But you ought to send that chair tonight and stop your grumbling and stop your belly aching and stop your growling and say, thank God. I am not the worst of the worst. I may not be the best of the best, but I am not the worst of the worst because I am saved. I have a purpose. God brought me here. God saved me. God redeemed me.
and I will do all my pleasure. Yes. Yes. My father held me in his arms Christmas Day, 1933. Fisherman Shack, West Bay Bridge, Panama City, Florida. Just hauled a fresh catch of mullet up on the sand. Mm -hmm. Laid him down, they told him my mother delivered a baby boy. Yeah. Our house was right by the water. Yes, Left the net, came up and walked in the room, took me from the midwife, walked out on the porch, said, Lord, what shall I call this boy? And a voice said to my father, call him John Paul. Bless him, amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Did God say that to my father? He did. Yes. Bless him, Lord. He said, call him John Paul. He said, dedicate him to me. And he will preach my gospel. Is God a liar? No. 33 is a long way back down the trail. Yes. But here's that boy standing here right now, Amen. preaching the gospel. Yes. Who declared that? My father didn't. God did. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. My father didn't. God did. He declared the end. Yes. He saw Marlowe. He saw John Paul Marlowe. Yes. He didn't call me by that name. He let man do that. He let man name me, but God knew me. Did you get what I said? Did you get what I said? He didn't name me. I wasn't named John Paul in the memory of God, in the creation of God. He let my father do that. But he was in control all the time. Praise the name of the Lord. That's what I want to get on your tonight. Because we're getting ready to finish up this year with revival in the church. We're getting ready to move in this church. We're getting ready to let the devil know that the body of Christ is alive and well. Praise the name of the Lord. I expect to see Sylvia running around here, healing of God, delivered before this year is over. In the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. See, God decreed. You. Yes. God decreed you. He knew you. Yes. You didn't come out something different than God ordained. You wasn't born to the Smith family because God said no. You're going to be born to the Wallace family. He had declared the end. That's not a child born outside of where God designed him to be. I was born in America. God didn't design that. You were born in Haiti. God designed that. Yeah. You were born in another country. God designed that. Yeah. You came through troubles you have. God designed that. God knew you would. Yeah. God knew the end from the beginning. Yeah. Now your end is not destruction unless you take matters in your hand Amen. and will it to be. Amen. But if you leave it in the hands of God who has never failed to guide you and lead you and keep you and take you through the storm and through the night. Praise the name of the Lord. You could have been killed a thousand times. You could have died. You could have lost your life. You could have married the wrong person. You could have been out. Somebody said, I did. But if you did, God will change it around. Let him do it. Don't you? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I, I love the wrong person. Well, if you did, let God change it around. Don't you? Because when God does it, you'll still be in his, uh, in his vein. Amen. You'll still be carrying out his commission. And you're with it. Let God do it. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I want to be a preacher. Let God make one out of you. Amen. 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 I want to prosper. Let God prosper you. Yes. Because he knows the end from the beginning. Yes. Am I preaching or am I preaching? Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. To the man that's prospered ahead of you. He just got on the first train. You're getting on the next train. Amen. Amen. Don't sit around and worry about the fella that got the first thousand before you did. He just got the first car out. You'll get the next one out if you do what God wants you to do. He has declared the end. God heal that boy. He didn't heal my boy. Wait on God. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Praise the name of the Lord. He got a brand new car. 
If it's God's will for you to get one, you'll get one. Just wait on the next train. Amen. He has declared the end from the beginning. They got healed before I did. That's all right. You go on and declare your healing. Declare it. If you're sick tonight, don't say you're sick. Don't say that I am well. Because God has decreed it. And I believe it. And he declared the end from the beginning. And if you're in trouble, say I'm getting out of this. Because God is going to get me out of it. And I'll get to it. And I'll get to it. If you're ugly and you think somebody's more prettier than you are, start talking about mirror, mirror on the wall. I think I'm the fairest of them all. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't go around saying I'm ugly, 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 ugly. Praise the name of the Lord. You'll be as ugly as sin if you do that. Declare the beauty of God. Declare that God will help you. And then put back on that after you say, God's going to help me. Say, I'm going to serve you. I'm going to give my life to you. I'm going to praise you the rest of my day. Fill my lungs with air, Lord, for I can praise you. Get a hold of me, Lord, and shake me with the Holy Ghost. Lord God, speak for me, Lord. Talk for me in other tongues. Send your Holy Spirit upon me. Bless the Lord. But Brother Marlon is not doing it. Yes, yeah, and he won't do it as long as you say he's not doing it. Yes, Did you know that's a negative with God when you yes, say he yes, can yes, and he won't? Yes, I always say he can and he will. Yes, Praise yes, the name of the Lord. Yes, he can and he will. Yes, that's like me being a pastor of this church after the year. Ordinarily, most churches die after a man has been there 50 years. They've heard him for 50 years. Heard the same voice, 50 years, knows him inside out like a book. Been around 50 years, my God, you can't be around 50 years without somebody knowing you. Amen. Most churches die. They wither away. That's why they shift them in and out. They don't even want to keep them there two years now. Most churches trade a guy out after two years. He's worn out his welcome. And the congregation says, move him on. But you know what? We defy what man does. And we let God. Moses led Israel 40 years. And he could have led them another 40 because his eyesight was not dim. And his strength was not abated. But God said, I want to just let it change it to Joshua. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm saying this if we talk negative about our church, about our victory, about you individually. You walk in the door of your home tonight, talk negative about your wife or your husband or your children. You're going to have negative stuff in that house. Did you say, say it again? If you walk in that house tonight and talk negative about your wife or your husband or your children, you're going to have negative stuff in that home. But if you walk in there and say it's all in the hands of God, bring her up, bring her out, bring them out, bring her out. Hey, if you think they're wrong, bring them out, Lord. Give some praise to them if you think they're right. Amen. No, no, you don't let them get by and say, don't always say he's a bad boy, he's a bad girl, he's a bad husband, bad wife. Oh, no, don't say that. You say in the name of Jesus, whatever God I have on this earth, God can take care of it. God can change it. God can move it. I want you to say that with me. God can change it. God can move it. the end. 